good evening. Good evening, good evening. Give me one second. Good evening. Hello. Oh, guys, me escuchan doble. Can you listen to me like twice or something like that? Yes, teacher. Todavía me escucho doble. Yes, yes teacher. You have two device. Well. Okay, give me one second. Let me just try to uh, do something here. No. Oh, okay. Uh, do you listen to me better now? Do you still me? Do you still listen to me twice or something? Yes, that's correct. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Give me one second for some reason. I'm getting a super weird camera today, so hold on. Uh, okay, give me one sec. Let me just fix my camera. Wait, wait, wait. Don't worry. Okay, guys, so thank you so much. I don't know what is wrong with my camera, but okay, I cannot have the, the companies. Uh, last part here. All right. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for joining. Uh, thank you, Jorge. Thank you, Susana, Mario. Good evening, and thank you so much for joining, guys. Super glad to see you today, um, and welcome as well. Um, I don't know what is going on here, so. <laughs> okay. Oh, I got it now. All right. So uh, welcome, welcome to today's session. We got class number three today. Um, I also see Norma, good evening. Manuel, hello, good evening. Uh, Raquel, thank you so much for joining. How are you doing, guys? Susana, good evening as well. So thank you so much for the wait. Guys, how is your day going? Is everything okay? Is everything good? Are you doing all right? Everything good, teacher. Everything good. A little, a little rain. Oh, really? Is it raining? Yes. Yes, teacher. Oh, oh okay. Well, not here. <laughs> okay, so hopefully the rain let us uh, have a normal class because sometimes electricity uh, goes down, you know, or the internet is not working properly, but hopefully it's going to work. Um, so um, mm -mm, let me just take a look here already. So if it's raining, that means that probably we are going to have a really good night, right? So no heat, uh, you can sleep well. So where do you live, guys? Are you in San Salvador? I live in San Salvador, but right now I'm working in San Miguel. Right so now you are in San, Sa in San Miguel. And it's so, raining. Yes. It's wow. Raining. Okay. I cannot imagine how a blessing a rain can be in San Miguel. So, okay, because it's normally really, really hot. All right. Yes. Oh, yes. You're right. Okay. You're right. Yeah, some co workers too, they're saying that it was raining. So, okay. 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 What about the rest of you guys? Is it raining where you live as well? I live in Mexica, in Mexicanos. I rainy car. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. It's raining a lot. Give me one second, guys. Uh, guys, quick question. Uh, did anybody have a problem like accessing or something today? Did anybody have an issue with the access? I have a problem. Hello? I can connect. I have okay. a problem also with my connection, but when normally I, I I go to the link and immediately 
I connect with the meeting, but in this case, uh, the system uh, asked me, uh, request me for a capture and in other situation, but I, 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 I could to connect. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. The platform uh, Zoom. Tell me. Uh, uh, give uh, a, uh, request ahead, uh, uh, Umberto, I'm sorry, you're breaking a little bit. Uh, I don't know if it's because of the of the internet connection, uh, but I guess you're having difficulties uh, accessing the link, right? At the moment that you try to log in or at the moment that you try to register. Uh, uh, because some co-workers uh, and some students mentioned they had kind of the same problem. So uh, I shared uh, one video guys in case this happens again tomorrow. So you can find like a, like a different way to access the link. Uh, tell me Mario. I have a question. Uh, it is necessary that uh, to register into the uh, the session before to enter the the class because uh, I have uh, actually I'm using uh, something different uh, computers and or uh, for example yesterday I used my my phone but uh, I only like you have the different link. sessions mm -hmm. yeah so. I only, I, I, because on my phone, I doesn't have the the link. So I only shared the the link from my computer, but was necessary to register uh, in the, the session. Mm, say being super honest, uh, this is an update. So it happened, I'm not sure if today or yesterday, but Zoom has updated the way we access the sessions. Because in the past, we just click on the link, we were in. So, so it is not, not the same deal. link, right? It is the same link. However, the process has changed a little bit. Uh, okay. But it's not because of us, but it's because of, it looks like Zoom has made like some changes. And Maybe for security you know, reasons. Uh, I, I bet. Probably. But I have just shared a video, guys. And uh, uh, there is one way. And the first one is click on the link, register. So once you register, you're supposed to, you know, log in the session. The second possibility now, and something that I found very practical too, is that you can go into your account, your personal account. Uh, you click on uh, access, right? You click on a uh, meeting and you will be requested a, an ID. So we share the ID with you in, in, the, in the email, in the message you received and also the password. So uh, you can, after classes, you can watch this video. Um, if you find it useful, uh, instead of registration, you can access with the access code or password. Uh, but yes, you're right. So I totally understand that some of us are like, what's going on, right? Yeah. Uh, but it happened, I'm not sure if yesterday, because yesterday I had another group and they were having some issues. Uh, with the login, um, and, and now that you mentioned that, uh, so some coworkers are reporting that as well. So um, let's give it a try and let's see if it works. In oh, my case, okay. teacher. Yes, Manuel. Okay. Uh, today uh, I had to to uh, introduce my my email, my name, and when I I push the to the link, uh, I had to, I couldn't uh, register, uh, I couldn't have to access to the meeting, but mm -hmm. but I I went to the email confirmation and mm -hmm. I I pushed the the link of the meeting and mm -hmm. I'm ready. And it worked, right? Yeah, it's so, uh, yes, yes, I think that is because of that, right? It's because of the of the changes. Give me just a second, let me share it. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Uh, give me 
one second. Yes, I guess Christia is having this issue. Um, is Diana here already? Oh, yes, Diana is here. Thank you. Hi, Diana. Okay, who else is Hi, having... teacher. Uh, oh, Wendy yeah. is having troubles too. Yeah, Wendy, I don't see her here yet. Yeah. Hey, teacher, I'm here. Hello. Hi, Tatiana. Hello, hello. Good evening. Um, yes, just give me a second. Let me let me send the information to the other girls. But I believe, guys, is the um, the issue is is because of the update with the with the Zoom platform. So, um, but but let we can work on the, the on that uh, work around, you know. So instead of a uh, like completing your registration. Uh, you can go to uh, join a session, just type the code, the meeting ID, and then the password, and you're set. So let's try to do that. Um, so let me see if these guys uh, can access. Give me one sec. Okay. Just let me make sure. That Hi. <laughs> hello. Hi, Chrissy. Hello, hello. Hello, ya pude. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Yes, it's because of the update. So uh, I'm sorry, guys. Um, we just received this information some minutes ago, and, and it's because of the update, but... Uh, but you can use the you can use also the the video you know and the, the ID to join. Uh, Mario, I don't know if you have your hand up because you wanted to mention something or it was because of before. <laughs> ah yes, uh, I just want to ask you if possible to uh, turn off my camera because uh, I'm also in another class uh, now, oh. so uh, there is some issue with the uh, with the internet. So. If it's okay. possible to to turn out and as soon as uh, I complete with the another class, okay, I will okay, turn out. It's okay. Okay, sure, no worries. That okay. sounds all right. Thank you okay, so much. Thank you. All right, no worries. Um, so Juan Carlos, good evening. I see you're here. I heard that Wendy is already, um, has already fixed the issue. So I'm super glad. Uh, Wendy's here as well. Okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you guys. So thank you so much for that. Um. So, oh, uh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, guys, now, um, that was just a commercial. <laughs> now let's get started with today's session. I hope you're doing great. I hope that if you have, you know, a like a sort of storm or um, rain or something, we don't have like big issues with the connection and we can complete the whole class, right? Um, guys, just a little reminder for today, we were supposed to look for a couple of words related to your work uh, or workplace or things that we normally use. But we are going to share that in a couple of minutes. Now, um, we are just uh, checking a couple of things today. So one of them is related to vocabulary building. Uh, I have some exercises for pronunciation. And uh, we are going to be also working a little bit with this unit that is referring to uh, managerial styles or being a manager, being a boss, being a leader. So to get us started, guys, I have a little story, let's say, um, something that I found uh, around. I want you to take a look at it. I want you to read it. And I want you to uh, express your opinion, what you think about it. So what are your thoughts on this story? Have you ever been in this situation? How do you feel? Or how would you feel if you were in this person's shoes? Hey, Manuel, can you please help me read it? It says, the boss who shut me up in front of my colleagues. Uh, the boss who shut me up in front of colleagues. Mm -hmm. Yes, I once, had, I once had a boss who, why, I was replying to a question addressed to me by their boss in a meeting mm -hmm. with one I had worked before and had developed report. 
actually put their hand less than an inch in front of my face to silence me so that they could answer instead. All right, thank you so much. Um, guys, what do you think about this kind of bosses? who don't let you participate. Yesterday you said, okay, a good boss is the one who listens to you, lets you express ideas, etc. But what do you think about this person? It says that the boss uh, was shutting this person up, right? Like, oh, don't say anything and sh shushing the person. So what do you think about this? Have you ever been in this situation? Have I you ever that, been shut up? Uh -huh. so okay, why? So rude and disrespectful. Okay. And and impolite too. Because, okay. Because the, the paragraph said that they put the, his 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 uh, arm in mm -hmm. front of her face. It's a bad behavior. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. Like very similar uh, to this one, right? Very similar to the picture you have here. Okay. Have you ever been in this situation? No, thanks to God. No. Okay. <laughs> what about the rest, guys? What do you think? Have you ever been? Uh huh. Uh, I. I have had a bosses different, mm -hmm. okay, bosses, but uh, uh, like this uh, paragraph, uh, like this situation, not yet, <laughs> not yet. Oh, okay. So you haven't been in this situation yet. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Uh, what about the rest? Anybody else? Nobody has been here. Okay, okay, okay. I'm super glad Teacher, because, I'm... yes, tell me. No, tell me, tell me. Uh, sorry, this never happened to me with a boss, but yes, with a um, colleague uh, that oh. they want to take the credit um, when they are asking you something to you, okay. but they want to answer. So they give a better image. I don't know. So they can show off. Yes, that. Oh, really? Okay. But have they literally shut you up? Yes. <laughs> like, no, me, you know, or don't say anything. I will go and say it, something like that. Yes, or Ooh. they start uh, speaking before me. Oh, how do you feel? Uh, awful. <laughs> okay, but and I don't know. <laughs> do you tell them off? Do you talk to them after that? Or... What did you do in that situation? Or what did you do in that specific moment? In that specific moment, I I I don't I don't remember. I think I didn't do anything. But oh, so you, you just gave in? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So you let them uh, take the credit and everything. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> but I bet you were feeling awful after that, like thinking about what you could have done. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right. So yeah, that's really bad. So that was colleagues. All right, not a boss. I have a second situation. Take a look at this one. I don't know if you have been into this, you know, but um, it's very common in some companies in El Salvador. So let's take a look at it. It says the boss who monitored my bathroom use. Just look at the title. And let's see what happens here. Um, so, Susana, can you please help me read it? The boss uh, who monitor by my bathroom use. My first job out of college was in sales, but it operated much more like a call center. Mistake number one. As a result of the high volume of incoming calls, every rep ha was required to be on the on this phone and and at their desk at all time. That meant 
we had a bathroom request. Bar button on our computers. Anything you have to use the restroom. Uh, you click the button, close your finger or leg and mm -hmm. hop from the best. The request uh, got a kick it mm -hmm. up to, to my not so great manager and night times hour of 10 then den denied denied, denied. denied immediately all right guys um have you ever been in this situation that you need to ask for permission to go to the bathroom it says here that you have a, a, a button all right and it's like oh my god i'm peeing but i cannot go to the bathroom so i need to pinch the button and wait or cross my fingers or legs because you're peeing you need to go to the bathroom and it says here nine times out of ten denied immediately so you requested okay i want to go to the bathroom i want to go to the bathroom i want to go to the bathroom and ten times that was denied that was declined uh, guys, any experience you can tell us about this? Does it happen? Does it, yes, ha has it happen to you? <laughs> I, <laughs> work, uh -huh. I work at uh, Atento. Oh, and yes. And uh -huh. there, well, it, has, it is a call center. So you yeah. have to ask for permission to go to the bathroom. They didn't have exactly a bottom, but you have to approach to your supervisor and ask him if you can go. Oh. And at the call center I work, um they operate uh, similar so this but, but is not like, for me oh, okay. <laughs> okay but not for me anymore ah okay but but previously so you needed to ask for permission yes in atento yes okay were you ever uh was your permission ever declined or was your request ever declined uh, yes <gasps> teacher because if like you said here, if there was a lot of messaging coming, they didn't give you the permission uh, until it was a little more empty. The okay. work. So, uh, what was it called? Blackout. What? Sorry. Uh, there was wasn't it like a word? I I think it was a blackout. Something like blackout. I don't remember very well. But in I worked in Atento, that was my first job like yeah. 12 years ago. <laughs> but they just were like blackout, something like that. Um, so it means that you couldn't ask for, you couldn't go to the bathroom unless you needed it or you had the permission. Oh, super bad. But I'm super glad you're out of that place. <laughs> okay. Anybody else, guys, had you ever had this one? Have you ever been into this situation? What do you think about it? Yes, teacher. Uh, like Diana said, when you work at the uh, call center, uh, you always have uh, ask for permission when you want to go to the to the bathroom. Oh, okay. Yes, oh, do you? and you have and you have, for example, ten minutes or maybe fifteen minutes, and you have to use all the time and the whole day. So. Uh, it happens sometimes when you want to go to the, the restroom and another person is there, you have to wait for the permission. Oh, okay. And it happens, it happens. Okay, so it still happens. All right, all right. That Yeah, it sounds really bad. Uh, Wendy, tell us, tell us. I see your hand up. In my case, no me veo. <laughs> Okay, listen to me. Yes, listen? we can listen to you. Ah, okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, in my case, I don't go to the bathroom mm -hmm. because I am alone in the office. <laughs> no, so you hold it. Yeah. What? <laughs> you you wait? So you hold. Only, oh my God! Okay. My, yes, only, only with, uh, with my boss. Yeah, okay. So you In need to wait. Case, oh, yes. I wait. I wait at my boss. 
Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not to leave the the place alone. Wow. But that that's okay. I, I, don't I get drink it. Water. <laughs> no, when do you need to get, drink some water? Okay. <laughs> Well, so it is not because it is a, a policy, not because of your boss, but because you are not allowed to, okay. Or because you're not, um, you don't want to leave the place uh, unattended. Oh, okay. I bet the rest of you are like, oh my God, why do I need to ask for permission? <laughs> Guys, um, so what about the rest? Have you been in this situation? Juan Carlos, uh, Claudia, have you ever, hi Claudia, have you ever requested for permission or you can go to the bathroom whenever you want? Uh, whenever I want. No, whenever you want. Okay. okay. So uh, I really pray God you don't get into call center, you know, <laughs> uh, because that is a reality, that unfortunately. All right. Very nice. So we have here like a description of bad, I don't know, policies or restricted policies that we can get. All right. Nice guys. Now let's move on a little bit. Um, yesterday we were talking a little bit about good bosses, bad bosses, and the uh, description for them. So I have a little exercise for you before we move on. We move on. And um, we have some personality adjectives that I guess I'm guessing you are familiar with. But we are going to try to um, put them in the correct category, whether they are positive words or they are negative words. So we have some words that I'm sure you have, you are familiar with. Um, so we have quiet, reliable, cheerful, brave, ruthless, kind, hesitant, greedy. So which of these words do you consider are positive? And which of these words do you consider are kind of negative either for employees or for any person in general? So uh, for example, we have the word cheerful, right? We said last time that cheerful is like happy, uh, but we are not going to use happy for personality anymore. Negative, can you tell me a word that you consider negative from this uh, chart? Lazy. Oh, definitely, yes. All right, so there we go. So positive words, negative words. If there is a word that you are not familiar with, uh, feel free to check your dictionary. Um, to, I recommend a dictionary, guys, not a translator, or I recommend another one. Give me a second. It is called lingue, lingue, um, mm -mm. okay. So I truly recommend you this one. I'm not sure how to, how to pronounce it, but it is one of the best I have found it. And because it gives you like the, um, like the scenario, the context, and you can get a better picture. Sometimes Google Translator is not reliable. So <laughs> guys, I'll give you five minutes. Uh, let's try to put them in the correct, uh, in the, the, the correct column, whether you consider they are positive or they are negative. So five minutes, guys. We got five. Then we'll practice the rest. Sharing in, in WhatsApp? Uh, which one? Oh, the link. Uh, no, um, the activity or I don't see, don't see your. You don't see my screen. No. Oh, Nothing. weird. Guys, can you see my screen? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Mm, okay, give me a second. Let me no. let me update it. Let me update it. That's okay. Let me give it. Uh, let me update it here. Probably it's just uh, a connectivity issue. Um, do you see my screen now? Yeah. Mm, okay, cool, cool, cool. Nice. All right. I there we go. So we have all of these adjectives, all of these words, and we are just going to uh, put them in the correct category or classify them in the correct, correct category, whether they are positive words or negative words. So positive, negative. Teacher, do you see my face? Yes, I do. I see your oh, cam. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, other things. You, you don't see yourself. <laughs> mm, no, no, no. I see your cam. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you feel more comfortable uh, writing them down, so feel uh, free to do so. If not, so you, you, you can just try to remember the meaning of these words and we are good.
next sentence or what teacher? Um, no, miss. In the, in the part below, wait a second. In the part below, you have this. Put the adjectives into the correct column. So this is what we will do. We are going to uh, identify or oh, uh, put them into negative. Mm, that's correct. So oh, we're going to okay. consider, uh, for example, we got the word uh, cheerful I mentioned before. So we have cheerful, oh, that's happy, that's positive. Negative, oh, oh that can be, I don't know, lazy. Uh, that can be jealous, so that can be mean, for example. So what words are positive, oh. what words are negative? Mm? Okay, thank you. Welcome.
One more minute. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. It's uh, raining kind of uh, cats and dogs here. Can you hear me? Uh, or is it too loud? Yes, yes. Yes, I can hear you. Hear you. Oh. Oh, okay. Do you listen to the rain like super loud or is that all right? No, teacher. Oh, okay. It's okay. All right, perfect. I'm sorry. I'm going to keep my camera uh, off a moment while hopefully the rain passes here. So um, we were checking like some personality vocabulary, right? We were checking which of them are positive, which of them are negative. So let's take a look at the ones we have right here. Um, can you tell me some positive words? What do you um, have as positive? Ruthless. Careful. General. Patient. Neat, modest, brave, sensible, generous, cheerful. I'm sorry, my, my order was up. Okay, so you said sensible, you said cheerful. Uh, I heard brave, brave. I heard generous. Yeah, what else? Neat, what else is Neat. ruthless. Yes. Yeah. Mm, but ruthless, what do you think? Is ruthless positive or negative? Negative. 
That would be negative. That would be a negative mm -hmm. word because it's kind of careless, right? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. You don't pay attention what's going on around you. What else is positive? Oh. What other words we have that can be positive? Kind. Do you say kind? Reliable. Yes, reliable. I was on mute. Need. Okay. No <laughs> brave. What happens to us? Yes, uh, brave. Witty. Oh, is witty positive? Okay. Okay. What is else? it going? <laughs> is it going? All right. There we go. Mm -hmm. Patient. Patient. Modest. Yes. Any other kind, right? That's a positive mm -hmm. word. What else do you have as positive? I put in positive quiet, but I don't know. Mm, I don't know. I think it really depends uh, because yeah. it's more like um, introverted, right? It's not good. It's not bad. So let's say 50-50. <laughs> okay, what else? What else do we have? Uh, so what about the rest? Naughty, boastful, mm -hmm. clumsy, selfish. Are they bad Negative. words? Are they negative, all of them? Ruthless, greedy, hesitant? I don't know if those she. Um, uh -huh. uh, what do you think? Uh, I think it's 50-50. Yeah, all right. Uh, are you a touchy person? Um, do you reflect people's feelings? Uh, are you kind of emotional? Mm. Yes. How, how would you consider uh, that a touchy person or this adjective can be, how do you think it can be considered? Do you think it's okay to be sensitive sometimes? Yes. I really? think sometimes, yes, but sometimes it depends on the case. Mm, okay, depends on the situation, on the case, on the, uh, yeah, definitely. All right, let's call it a 50 50. Uh, what about absent minded and the rest? Negative. Negative, right? So most of them are quite negative. Um, guys, can you give me a synonym for greedy? What is a word that we can use for greedy? Mm -hmm. Okay, so greedy is ambitious. But ambitious is good. Greedy is like, oh, I need more. I have money. I need more money. Uh, I have a job. I need three, four, five, six jobs. So greedy is the extreme, right? Too much ambition there. Um, what else? Oh, hesitant. Are you a hesitant person? Wait, I put a heart, but this is not a heart. Okay. Hey, are you a hesitant person? Do you hesitate? Do you know the meaning of hesitate? Are you familiar with the word hesitate? It's like that. Um, more like uh, you say, hey, let's go to the movie theater. I, I don't know. Hey, no, but I know. I don't know. Have you ever seen El Chavo del Ocho? So he's like, ah, oh, yes, but no. I know, right? It's not El Chavo del Ocho. It's an indication, no. Yes, yes. Like, oh, that's Chespirito, I think. Yeah, it's like when you say yes, but no. But I'm not sure, but maybe yes. So hesitate is like you hesitate, hesitant is you hesitate a lot, right? O dudamos demasiado, we doubt. So we are not sure. If you have like a dream, you're like, I, but I don't know, maybe, maybe not. So hesitant. Are you a hesitant person? Do you hesitate no. a lot? No, you're not. No, I think no. Okay, okay, nice for you. I'm super hesitant. So I'm like, yes, but no, what if, right? Okay, okay, guys, so let's take a look at a couple of these expressions, but first, let's just go over a pronunciation. So we have quiet, repeat with me, please, quiet. 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 Reliable. 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 Nice. Cheerful. 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 Brave. 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 Selfish. 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 Generous. Selfish. Generous. 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 Uh, okay, clumsy. 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 Neat. Neat. 
Boastful. Boastful. Sensible. Sensible. Mm, a quick question. What is the meaning of sensible? Um, sensible. Because, be, because uh -huh, we, we have two words. We have two words that are super similar but different. We have the word sensitive and we have the word sensible. Sensible is good. Sensitive, maybe too. But what is sensible? It is not sensible in Spanish. Sensible is another word. What do you understand by sensible? Uh, teacher, I, I search the word on link, link, link is the, mm -hmm. and it says it's uh, not a uh, noticeable, responsive, and susceptible. Mm -hmm. so, exactly. Uh, that means it's, it's, a, it's a good uh, qualify. Yeah, I mean, being sensible definitely is a good characteristic. Uh, but the question is, what is sensible? <laughs> Are you a sensible person? Have you ever heard the expression down to earth? Yes. Uh, have you heard? Oh, I'm sorry, down is the other way around, so I'm just writing it wrong. So down to earth. Uh, so if you are down to earth kind of person, you are sensible. Like alguien sensato, right? So sensible it stands for sensato, and sensitive stands for it stands for touchy or emotional. So they are different words. Just be careful with that word. Sensible means sensato, right? So totally different. Um, I, I think I am a sensible person. Are you? Are you sensible? Yes. Yeah. Yes, down to earth. Yes. Or we can say down to earth, right? Con los pies en la tierra. So down to earth kind of person. Okay, very nice. Um, let's continue here. Nori, please repeat with me. Nori. Nori. Okay. Nori. Ruth, ruthless. 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 Mm, very good. Hesitant. 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 Okay, greedy. Greedy. Patient. 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 Very nice. Modest. Modest. Weedy. Weedy. Um, uh, what is weedy? Are you a weedy person? Are you weedy? Uh, what is weedy? Ingenioso. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. yes. Not necessarily smart, but just like creative, right? So uh, a very creative witty. person. Mm -hmm. Are you witty? So I think witty. it's really nice. Mm -hmm. That's witty witty. Have you heard, are you witty witty, right? It's creative, <laughs> a talkative person, a really nice person to talk to, so witty. And the last one that we have right there, that probably is kind of, uh, oh, the new ones. Jealous, let's repeat it, guys. Jealous. Jealous. Absent-minded. Absent-minded. Okay, very nice. So, guys, I have one quick question for you. Um, what are wait, 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 wait. So, what are some characteristics? What are some characteristics of people that bother you? Okay. <laughs> So let's take a look at this one. What are some characteristics of people that bother you guys? Um, not Let's say not that you hate, because that wouldn't be the word, but just that makes you feel very un uncomfortable, right? Something that you say, uh, no, that's not good. I don't feel okay. So what are some characteristics of people that bother you? Think for one moment, all right? I'll give you one minute, guys. Think about it. What are some characteristics that you consider are like the worst a what, person? What's can the have? meaning bother you? Bother you means annoy you. Uh, characteristics that you're like, oh, sh <laughs> I don't like that person. Not that you don't okay. hate, that you don't like. So bother I means mm -hmm, annoy. Like. I consider noisy people, teacher. Noisy people. Oh, okay. Why? Why does it bother you? Uh, I don't like the noise so loud. Okay. But when you say noisy people, you mean people who laugh, uh, um, I don't know, crazily or just people who like, is like a, a crazy. Lot? Okay, so crazy people. Oh, 
know. There, there are different levels of <laughs> You need to explain that to us. <laughs> what are the levels no. of craziness? There are, there are partners that has a crazy love. Interesting, George. Are you talking about me? <laughs> I have a really uh, loud way of laughing, I have to say. So, okay, I take that into account. <laughs> okay, so different levels of craziness. Interesting. So, um, guys, think about it. What are some uh, characteristics of people that bother you or annoy you? That is the same, bother, annoy. And obviously, why? Try to give us some um, explanation for that. So I'll give you one minute, only one minute, guys. Think about it. Okay, guys, are you ready? Have you thought about it? Do you have a brief explanation of the characteristics that you feel that bother you? So um, let me let me just uh, change a screen. Hopefully um, you will be able to see that. So we are going to use this expression that is uh, bother or annoy, right? So those are verbs. We can also use the expression uh, bug, right? To talk about things that annoy you. Or we can use the expression, it drives me to the wall. I don't know if you have heard these expressions, but in other words, it's like expressions that mean that make you feel angry or upset, right? So we can use also upset. Um, how do we use these expressions? It's really easy. So we can say it bothers, um, it bothers me, right? So it bothers me when, and we're going to try to explain uh, this. So it annoys me, right? So it annoys me when, uh, we can use that as well. Uh, so it bugs me, we can also use that one this way. So if you take a look, we are going to try to not only uh, talk about the, um, the adjective, but also try to give a full explanation. It drives me to the wall, right? The kind of people, when people, etc. or we can use upset. So it upsets me right? And there we go. So guys, um, what kind of characteristics or what kind of behaviors uh, bother you, right? So uh, for example, I'm, I'm, I think I'm very tolerant, uh, but I don't know, probably uh, for me, um, I don't know, I have to think about it. Something that really bothers me um, when we are talking about 
um, people, for example, is when um, it bothers me when people don't listen to you or uh, they try to shut you up, right? Or things like those because it's important to listen to everybody's opinion. So let's try to use any of these expressions to talk about the things that make you feel upset, angry, annoyed, etc. So um, we are going to go to the groups, guys. There is only one question uh, that is what are the characteristics that annoy you, that bother you, right? And try to give a long explanation, please. So try to give us details so don't just keep it to yourself. Um, give me one moment. We're going to make some groups here. And, uh, and guys, uh, please pay attention to your classmates. Listen to them. If it is possible, take notes, right? Say take notes. Because later, you will try to tell us what they said. All right. So it is important to listen to them carefully as well. So let's go to the groups, guys. We have five minutes. And then we come back and we will try to retell the information. Let's go, please. Teacher, can you send me again to the room, please? Um, yes, of course. Are you in your cell phone? No, in a tablet. Okay, so you're in the tablet. Uh, in, do you see the menu in the tablet? Mm, yes. Okay. Do you see one that says breakout rooms? Yes. Okay, L click on breakout rooms and there you go. So I guess it worked. Uh, Claudia, it didn't work. <laughs> okay, no worries. I will send you there. Um, mm -mm. Hi, Norma. Hi, Miss.
Uh, hi, Ariella. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hi, Miss. How are you? Well, I was having trouble with my internet, so I cannot join. Oh, no worries, but I'm super glad you are here right now. Um, did you have difficulties with the access or, or, or just with the internet? No, I mean with the internet because it's raining here. Oh, okay, okay, I totally get yeah. it, all right. Also, also, I would like to let you know that I am sick. So oh. yesterday I was a little bit quiet because um, I had a flu. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I'm still in, in that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Talk. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Well, I hope you get better soon. So I hope you, you definitely get better. And uh, and uh, it's all right. So if you feel like listening rather than speaking, that will be all right. And when you feel better, so we are going to bombard you with a lot of questions. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Yeah, okay. I like so. to be speaking. Oh, very so nice. Say, yes, yesterday I met, um, I think her name was Guadalupe. Guadalupe. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> you mean from this group? Yes. Oh, I think you mean Maria Elena. So Maria Elena Guadalupe, I think it's her name. Maybe, maybe. Oh, okay, okay. So I'm glad to hear that. Okay, so hopefully uh, you're gonna feel you're gonna get better soon, so no worries. Yeah, you really get I that. hope so. Mm, okay, well, right now uh, with the groups, we are discussing uh, this question that, that is one of the characteristics that made you feel um, that made you that uh, made you feel kind of upset, or one of the characteristics mm -hmm. that bother you um, uh, in people, right? So yeah, we were discussing or we were like sharing a couple of expressions that we can use to talk about it, and. I'm sorry, uh, one of them is like, it bothers me. We can just, it annoys me, it bugs me, it drives me to the wall, like super angry, right? Or it upsets yeah. me, like part of the expressions. Yes, FYI, all right, just for you to know. Mm -hmm. um, okay. They are supposed to come in a couple of minutes. So in case you feel like uh, listening to them, so I'm going to uh, send you the invitation uh, okay. and, uh, and just listen to them. Um, Ariela, just I will ask you to help me with your full name, please. Uh, so it doesn't okay. affect uh, your attendance, please. Mm -hmm. That would be nice. Thank uh, you. Is Ariela Elizabeth. Okay, give me one sec. I'm going to change it here. And uh, because I only see your first name. Ariela Elizabeth. Rivas Moran. Rivas Moran. Okay, so um, okay, I'm changing your name now, and uh, okay. if uh, you can, you can like save your name, but today mm. Zoom is giving a lot of issues. So if your name is not complete, uh, you can change it mm -hmm. in your in your camera for tomorrow. No worries. Okay. Then. Okay. Uh, give me one second. I'll invite you to go to the room. So let me just check it out. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. There you go. Okay, thank you. I will join in.
I can hear, I can hear you, teacher. <laughs> no worries. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for coming back. So let me make sure everybody's back here. And um, let me check. Let me check. Yes, everybody's back. All right, guys. So we are talking about characteristics of people um, that you feel, I don't know, annoyed, bothered, right? Um, but simply you don't really like that much. Okay. Now, um, there is a little activity I want to try with you. Uh, and uh, I am sure that this is not going to be something difficult or anything, but the idea is that I want to push you to um, speak a little faster without thinking, without translating, without thinking in Spanish above all. So um, we are going to do a 30 seconds, 30, uh, 30 second participation. Okay, so you'll have only 30 seconds to participate, but that means non-stop, all right? So for 30 seconds, guys, you got to keep on telling us, giving us information, right, about what are some characteristics of people that you feel annoyed with. Um, why is it called nonstop? Because you're not supposed to think. You're not supposed to be even more than one second thinking um, or doing this, this thing that I'm doing, right? Um, um, <laughs> okay, it is nonstop. So you got to keep on talking. What are we going to use in case you have no more ideas to give? Oh, very easy. Use expressions like well, use expressions like you know, use expressions like let me see um let me let me see let me think right that are some of the most common expressions that we can use you can continue talking you can just go like oh well you know that is a difficult question let me think about it because and you can just go around the bushes as much as you want but we are going to just try to avoid uh, being silent, being quiet, right? So just keep on speaking as much as we can. So uh, let me have some victims. <laughs> let me pick a couple of victims here. It's only a 30 second practice. Um, so give us as much information as you can in those 30 seconds. Um, mm -mm, Maria Serum. Okay, Maria, Maria, Maria. Maria, I'll go with you. Uh, Maria, can you just help me with your full name, please? I am not able to see your last name. Uh, I mean, your full name. I think it's Maria Elena, right? Maria Elena, is that you? Okay, I guess it's her, but I'm not sure. Okay, so meanwhile, she comes back. Uh, mm -mm. So Manuel, I'll go with you. You're gonna be my first victim. Thank you so much for volunteering. <laughs> this is going to be only 30 seconds. Um, and remember, try to make it nonstop, all right? So if you have no more ideas, if you know how to say something, just say it in Spanish, but continue speaking, right? Because that is the idea to not to think in Spanish. So, uh, uh, are you ready, Manuel? <laughs> okay. Well, re ready or not, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, it'll be only 30 seconds. So, you will see my chronometer. Oh, wait, mm -hmm. you will see my stopwatch here. Let mm -hmm. me just change my camera so you can see the time. And, uh, um, okay. When you see uh, a zero, that means that time is over and we stop talking, right? So 30 seconds. Okay, what are the characteristics that bother you or annoy you in a person? One, two, three, go. Okay, it bothers me when people uh, like to make a bullying. For example, in my previous job, uh, I had uh, one colleague, uh, that person uh, likes to uh, take advantage of a situation when you, for example, we uh, say something, we make uh, something uh, that's... Uh, Thank you so uh, much. Okay. <laughs> okay, time is over, but I think we totally got it. So that was bullying, right? So when yeah. a person bullies others. Okay, thank you so much. Very nice. So you didn't stop, very good. Okay, uh, Manuel, select a person, please. Select somebody here. I don't know. Let me see the other. 
Everybody yeah. wants to participate, yeah. so you can select anybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who is the next victim? Okay. Uh, Ariela Rivas. Ariela Elizabeth Rivas. Um, Ariela know? mentioned that she was not feeling all right, so okay. I think we probably can select somebody else. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Juan Carlos Rivas. Oh, Juan Carlos, are you here? Are you with us? I haven't heard Juan Carlos today. Uh, Juan Carlos, are you available? <laughs> I haven't heard him, so I'm not sure if he's going to be a listener today. Uh, <laughs> but we will be accumulating minutes, you know, <laughs> for next time. Okay, I'm not so, like, okay so oh, Anna is not available. No, uh, no, she's not available. Oh, my God. Okay. These guys are not available. Imagine. <laughs> okay, thank you. So, Claudia, let's go with you. Um, now, I'm going to change the question a little bit, Claudia, and this is going to be, uh, tell us about the characteristic your classmates mentioned that uh, annoyed them a little bit or bothered them a little bit. So, you got 30 seconds to try to explain that to us. And again, non-stop. Ready, Claudia? It's ready. Amazing, I like it. One, two, three, go. Okay, uh, Mario tells us that he bothers people who drive too slow in the mm -hmm. left side. Okay. Susana tell, tell us that bothers people who is mocking of others. And Wendy tells us that she bothers people who is greedy, that they can uh they can want they wanna catch more money every day they are like ambitious too ambitious oh time is over very nice oh i like that that's a really good but i had your vocabulary nice great all right uh, claudia who's your victim um sylvia okay sylvia let's go with you um, so, Silvia, what are the characteristics your class, uh, one of your classmates? Tell us not only about one person. Um, what did that person say? Um, and try to give us as much information as you remember. So, ready, Silvia? Yes. Okay, 30 seconds. Let's go. Um, Christian uh, Bodor her when there are people that didn't have the reason but is wrong okay. and Tatiana uh, mentioned uh, annoys her uh, great deal and the people and when the people are touchy oh and oh and I and time is over. <laughs> okay, very nice, very nice. Um, it called my attention something you said, Tatiana. Um, is it that? How was that? Um, so when people are touchy, does it annoy you? Uh, Do you feel offended or something? Mm, mm, well, I, I didn't say about touchy people. I said about uh, absent-minded. Oh, okay, okay. So it was something different, but it's okay. No worries, Silvia, you can make up. <laughs> you can no. make up a little bit here, okay. Yes, oh, we love everybody, don't worry. <laughs> okay, 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 that's all right. <laughs> so absent-minded people, so that makes you feel kind of bothered or annoyed. Uh, it bothers me. I, okay. I say to my to my team, uh, it bothers me when the when in the the a job the new hires they don't pay attention when they are when we are trying to to for example to show the tools show the, the all the information, but I said they are very youngest youngest people mm -hmm. uh, they are around 22 21 and they mm -hmm. never pay attention so okay. for me that is 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 i don't know I, it made me feel so a little bit bothered <laughs> oh okay yeah probably they are not committed right they are not interested in what they're doing all right all right nice 
Thank you so much for clarifying that. I was like, what? <laughs> okay, um, guys, I just want to call uh, your attention upon this word. Uh, I heard it. You know, I heard this one around, and that is put, put attention. Uh, remember that the, the right expression or the most common expression that we can use, that would be uh, with pay attention, right? But so just uh, be a little careful with this one. Yes? Teacher, but I have a question because we are talking about a uh, touchy people is somebody uh, is, is, is get upset about everything if you say something well i understood like that but we are talking with christian and and i don't know if we are confused about the the clowns uh, the tow chip as a characteristic no 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 actually uh yeah tow chip can be like a person who is super sensitive or that can be a person who's kind of picky too so picky or sensitive mm -hmm. yeah you're right Mm, yeah yeah <laughs> that, that's the one <laughs> okay um so coming back to this i'm sorry guys uh, so just be careful with this word right normally we say um pay attention so just for you to to take notes about it all right uh we're gonna like move on a little bit i have one little exercise for you and uh this refers to some vocabulary uh pronunciation right especially with patterns. So we're gonna practice this a little bit. And then I have like one, uh, some practice that we gotta do. So take a look at this one. Uh, we're gonna work a little bit with English pronunciation. And if you take a look here, we have this division. It says put the words into the correct column. Look at the examples first. And we have one syllable, two syllables. Normally when we're speaking, um, it is necessary to decide where the, whether the word has one syllable, two syllables, three syllables, because that is the way we normally pronounce them. So we have, for example, bring, but we have an sorry. So we have two syllables. We have not two words, but two syllables. What about the rest of them? Um, we have uh, the rest of the words. And in the word answered, guys, which is stronger? And or third, the first or the second part? What would you say is stronger? Answered or answered? How would answer. you pronounce this word? Answer, right? Answer. Okay. So it is stronger, the first part, answered. So what about the rest of them? Uh, we have awful, balloon, bored, bought, cheap, clever, clothed, crushed. So how many syllables uh, do you identify in each of the words? One syllable or two syllables? So um, I'll give you two minutes. Uh, try to put them in the column that you consider is the right one. Also, listen to your own pronunciation so we can be identifying the words, right? Uh, for example, we have the ED. That is one of the most difficult pronunciation, I guess. Um, so how do you pronounce this word, for example? Please. One or two syllables? Please. Two. One or One. two? Please. One. One. Please. So a very easy characteristic is how we pronounce them, how many times Please. you open your mouth. For example, answer two times. Bring one time. What about play? How many times do you open your mouth to say the past of play? One. One. Only one, so it is only one syllable. So we say played, played. that's it. No played, no two times, only one. So played, that's it, all right? So let's try to divide them, one column or two columns, guys. I'll give you some minutes to try to complete it. You can repeat it, repeat the words, say them out loud, listen to your own pronunciation, and that's gonna help a lot. So take your time.
Are you ready, guys? Yes. Yes. Okay, very nice. Okay, let's take a look at what you got. So, uh, what words would you say going to the first column? Sheep. Okay. Sheep. Bring. Bring. Boat. Boat. Board. Sheep. Sheep. Clothes. 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 Friend. Brush. Match. Match. Friend. 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 Play. 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 Match. Okay. Match. okay. Play. See. Sign. Sign. Match. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't hear a couple though. Okay, yeah. um, let's go with, all right, let's go with this one. One or two syllables. Word. This one. word right here. And one or two. One. 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 All right, all right. So let's take a look at the ones that go with only one syllable here. So we have words like board, only one syllable, right? Chip, one syllable. Uh, we have clothes, only one time. Crushed, only one time. Friend, one syllable. Yes. Ghost, Ghost. Only one. A match. match. Teacher, boy, boy, boy two. Mm, I'm sorry. Boy, or boy, it's only one. That's only one syllable. Only one. Yeah. Oh. Plants is only one. Blade, only one. And sign, only one. Now let's repeat them, guys. So we go board. 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 Nice. Very good. Cheap. Oh. Cheap. Cheap. cheap, a little stronger. Cheap, cheap, cheap. cheap. Okay, no, okay, better. Cheap, so super strong. Clothes, no, only one. Okay, crushed, crushed, crushed. Okay, very good. Friend, 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 friend. friend. Nice. Yeah. Ghost. Ghost. ghost, ghost, match, match, plants, blade. Sign. 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 Oh, very nice. Okay. Now, what about the ones that go with two syllables? So we have answer. Awful. Awful. Balloon. Yes. Clever. Okay. Concrete. Concrete. Funny. Funny. Have it. Have it. Improve. Improve. Lorry. Lorry. Minor. Minor. Problem. Minor. Minor. Problem. Problem. Shampoo. Yeah, shampoo. Shampoo. Very nice. Uh, guys, what is a lorry? Yeah. Any idea of what a lorry is? Have you heard the word lorry before? Uh, no. No, teacher. No. A lorry is, is a transportation. So it's the same a truck. Mm, kind of a truck. Yes, 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 yes. So oh. have you heard about the Haye? No, wait, it's not a Haye. I don't remember. What is the brand? Um, mm -mm. One of these cars that moves, uh, for example, bread or um, eggs to different stores in El Salvador. Panelito. Um, no, panelito. Yes, that's a lorry. Yes, that's the word. Uh -huh. That's a lorry. Oh. So we normally use lorry for that. Um, so it's like a little truck, but it's more for transportation. Okay, very nice. So we have some of these words. I am sure that you know them. Now, guys, let's go ahead and check the homework you had for today. So you were supposed to check some words that you are familiar or that you may um, need in your workplace. So part of the job, the words include uh, leave, profit, Payroll, attorney, lawsuit, boy, strategy, guarantee, and gossip. So, guys, what is a gossip? Can you help me with this one? Uh, when, when people 
uh, like to to talk to uh, talk a lot about <laughs> others. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Add information. And extra information. <laughs> and we like to gossip, let's be honest. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, do me a big favor. In the chat, can you leave me a question using the word gossip, please? Any question that comes to your mind using the word gossip. Any question? Leave it in the chat. Leave it in the chat over here, please. So leave a question using the word gossip, please. Miss, in, in gossip we can use is like gossip me. Mm. No. I am super honest. I have never heard that expression like <laughs> gossip me. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, we, we know that we like gossiping, but we don't openly accept that we gossip. So it's more like tell me or share with me or uh -huh, or give me some information. But uh -huh, that would be G not gossip someone. <laughs> gossip me is like, for me, for, in my mind, is like me, me chambreo. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, and, uh, no, but but the thing is that openly we don't accept that we like gossiping. So we normally oh, say okay. she told me, uh -huh. she shared. <laughs> okay. shared important information. Guys, a question, leave a question, leave a question. Do your co-workers love, oh, okay, gossip. Very nice. Yes, we are going to add ing, right? Because we have love. Do your co-workers love gossiping? Only your co-workers. Uh -huh. What about you guys? <laughs> okay, that is okay. That is a really nice question. So do your co-workers love gossiping? Good, we can take that. Okay, next one. Uh, we have the word leave. What is leave? What comes to your mind? Is she gossip? Okay, do your neighbors usually gossip about you? Oh, I like that question. That is really nice. Do your neighbors gossip about you? Or do you gossip about your neighbors? So <laughs> both ways. Is she gossip at the job? Okay, so maybe Claudia, we can use a does. Does she gossip at the, at the yes, work? Yes, right? I was changing and yes. send it. <laughs> yeah, no worries, no worries. But that's a very nice one, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Diana says, I like to gossip with my best friend. Okay, we, li we believe you, Diana. <laughs> we like to gossip. Okay, um, leave. What is leave? We checked that one yesterday when we were talking about leaders. What to is leave? guide someone to others. Guiding someone, okay. What is a question we can make with the word leave? Leave is a verb. So what is another word? Um, what is a question we can make with the word leave? Leave. Do you like to leave? Oh, okay. Are you, are the boss, are the boss a good leave? Okay. Um, normally the word leave is the action, right? Um, so Sylvia, your question is good, but in that case, we have a good leave. So we can change the word for leader. So, are, or is your boss a good leader? Uh-huh. But otherwise, do you like to leave? Sounds okay. Sounds like a good one. Okay, or do you lead others in activities? You know, do you lead? So lead is like, do you guide, right? So we can use that. Okay, sounds all right. Liderar, no. That's liderar, but the action. Then we have leader, leadership, but lead is the action. Mm -hmm. Like uh, when I am in my workplace, um, so I lead my subordinates to do the best job possible. So I guide them, okay? So I lead them. All right, so sounds all right. 
Okay. Um, are you read to lead the staff to success? Are you read? Are you read? Uh, Manuel, help me with the. Do, do you lead your subordinates? Okay, sounds really nice. Manuel, uh, just help me understand your question. Um, do you mean like uh, ready para liderar? Something like or that. Or are you ready to lead? Oh, are you ready? You're in mute, Manuel. Are you ready? Oh, okay. So are you ready to lead the stuff to success? Oh, all right, all right. I don't know, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> okay, sounds like a good question. Uh, just be careful with the spelling, but nice, nice. Okay, my brother lead the, leads his family. All right, that's all right. Okay, guys, next one. Uh, then we have other words like profit, payroll, attorney, lawsuit. Can you select one more, guys? Can you select one more word? from here and try to make a question using it. Profit, remember that is the money that you get from a business. Payroll is where it, the paper <laughs> that says how much we earn. So normally accountants or the people, generalists or human resources, they handle the payroll. Guys, do you work with payrolls? No, nobody checks payrolls. Accountant, we don't have accountant, human resources, no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, can you help me with my payroll to check Plan this out? Planning a teacher? Yes, that's the payroll. Mm -hmm. Where it says how much we earn. Did the counter check the last payroll? Did the counter, did the counter, did the counter? Um, okay, probably, uh, Claudia, just instead of the word counter, um, I don't know if you mean the accountant. So we can yeah, change it for the word accountant, but very nice, I like the question. That's very well structured. Teacher, what's the meaning profit or pro, or pro, profit? How do you say profit? Yes, a profit, profit is the money that you earn, money that you earn mm -hmm. uh, from a business. Uh, for example, imagine that I sell uh, my cell phone. The cell phone was 200, I sell it in 300. Oh, how much is my profit? 100. So yeah, is the, yes, the extra amount of money that you make. Mm -hmm. uh, That's the profit. So the money that you earn from a business. Teacher, then, if this is profit, I need to sell myself. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> no, or, or people have business. Some people have some yeah. business. They sell uh, clothes, electronics, you know. So normally we work a lot with profits. Mm -hmm. So profit can be $1, $2. So it's the <laughs> amount of money that you make. Yeah. Mm, that is free, right? Um, then we have attorney, we said yesterday, kind of a lawyer. So maybe uh, Sylvia can tell us about more about that. We have a lawsuit that teacher, is a uh, technical word. Yes, tell me. Teacher, uh, I have a question about mm -hmm. attorney. Okay. What is the meaning? Um, like, a, like a lawyer. So an attorney mm -hmm. is a sort of lawyer. Okay. He loves it. Um, yes, um, so normally this word, uh, lawsuit, is referring to legal actions that you take. For example, um, my company fired me, they didn't okay. give me money, oh, I'm okay. going to go to Ministerio de Trabajo, right? Okay. And I'm going to start a lawsuit against the company. Mm -hmm. This like is the lawsuit. action or the process? Um, it's the process. Yeah. It's the okay. process, the legal process. Mm -hmm. That is the legal process. Teacher, the, the meaning of void. Um, guys, I believe most of you work with money, right? Most of you work with bills, as I have understood. And void refers to transactions. Um, when I pay for something and I don't receive my product, so the company can void the transaction. Um, in other words, uh, for example, I 
went to um maybe when I went to cancel something. When? I when I went to cancel something. Mm, or you want to cancel something too. Exactly. It refers a lot to transactions. So imagine in my, in my work is is very common to use the word voidel ah, because okay. we voidel task cars for the airplanes. Oh, that's right. You work for yes. that company. Good to know. <laughs> you need to you and need the, to show us ways to get going in my in my in my company in my work. Mm -hmm. Boy, that travel ticket. Yes, yes. Travel ticket. exactly, exactly. But in boy, the, they give the money back. Mm -hmm. yes, in, in the the Marta industry, normally when the when we change uh, some documents, some legal documents like uh, the bill of lading, mm -hmm. uh, we change that that bill for another. Mm -hmm. We we put a word that say no and void. Ah, null and void, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. And you issue another ticket yeah. or another bill. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly. Oh, you see, you are familiar with that. Okay. So void is exactly that. You kind of cancel. In law, lawsuit? Attorney in lawsuit? Attorney is the right word for lawyer. Uh, so in El Salvador, we use lawyer. But in United States, if you see movies, series, you will not listen to lawyer that much, but you will listen to attorney. So attorney is like mm. a specialized person. Mm -hmm. I don't know if uh, mm -hmm. I have heard uh, correct, but uh, mm -hmm. I think that I have heard a Jordan referring to a uh, person or people that work to, to the government or something like that. Uh, not like uh, the fiscal, but something hmm, that the da uh-huh well not necessarily for they work for the government but uh, attorney is considered the specialized uh yes but is a specialized person in law so that is pretty much the 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 meaning of the attorney mm -hmm. it is a lawyer pretty much it's a lawyer a lawyer yes so when they have like an, a sort of a specialization, sir, that's a lawyer. And a lawsuit we said is um, a legal word that we use for the, um, when you start legal actions against the company. So maybe because you were fired, maybe because something bad happened, maybe because they treated you badly. So that would be a lawsuit. So you go, you pay at an attorney and you start a lawsuit. I guess that Shakira started a lawsuit, I'm not sure, against Piqué because of the children and because of the uh, money they had together. I think something like that happened. So for yeah, you to have plan. an idea. Hmm? To, what to is get it? The, the plane of, of Piqué. Audience, no. No, 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 no. A lawsuit is no. the action. Uh -huh. So it's like, um, I don't know, if I'm married. Yeah, if I'm married and my husband doesn't want to pay, I start a lawsuit against my husband <laughs> or my ex-husband. Uh -huh. So that's a lawsuit. Have you ever? That. Yes. Have you ever been in a lawsuit? No. Nobody. No. Okay. Nice. Good. No. Better. <laughs> okay. Better. Better. Really good. Okay, guys, so these are part of the vocabulary I had for you yesterday, but I ask you also to uh, try to bring some other words, right, to, from your own vocabulary, from your own job. So what words can you share with your classmates? Um, I know everybody works in a different industry, and that is amazing because we can build vocabulary together as well. And... Uh, uh, we have just a little time, but we're gonna try to make the best of it, all right? So guys, do me a big favor. And did you, did you get a couple of words from your business, guys, from your company, from your everyday um, English use? Yes, teacher. You have a couple, like two or three? Yes. Okay. Like two, Super. three. 
Yes, I mean, you we are many. not going to. You have many, <laughs> two or three right now. <laughs> Otherwise, everybody will be so baffled. <laughs> okay, so guys, we are going to share a couple of words, the words you brought, all right? Uh, please keep in mind these words, review them, because tomorrow we are going to practice those questions. But at the moment, I want you to share your personal vocabulary, your technical vocabulary, with the rest of these guys. So give me just a moment. I'm going to be sending you to some groups. We have exactly five minutes, guys, to share the words, give examples, try to explain them to your classmates, and then we come back. So five minutes, try to explain your vocabulary. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Go to the...
Thank you for coming, guys. All right, so I guess the rest are just joining. All right, guys, so bring the, the, the words, bring the same words you investigated, because tomorrow we are going to try to use new vocabulary. Uh, and the only way to do that is practicing, repeating, you know, creating conversations, writing, etc. Um, let's just wait for the rest to come. Guys, a quick question. Um, uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, Jorge. Ah, uh, no, Jorge is si acá. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Olga, uh, guys, Olga, was Olga with you in the previous module? Yes. yes. Do you have any idea if she'll continue? No. No. Okay. Yeah, because I haven't seen her. Um, so I have. Let me just make sure I got everybody. So Jorge is here. Uh, Maria, uh, Maria Elena is Maria Elena around? All right, she's not here. I think I saw Maria, Maria. Teacher, Maria. Uh, I, Hello, miss. I was talking with Ana Raquel. She's, she really has very seed very sick and she lost uh she lost a, a parent so uh, oh. yes i think I mean, that's why she is not here or but she is connected yes uh, she told me well i think she texted me yesterday explaining the situation oh I'm, I'm really sorry to hear that but yeah she's going to be a listener i believe for the rest of the module i'm not a hundred percent sure yeah, but just let me make sure just, that was this week oh oh that would be nice okay well hopefully um she decides to continue with us give me just a second uh, i got jorge guadalupe not right and nelson no nelson was having problems with the internet and we are missing olga too okay okay guys so thank you so much uh, guys for your attendance please bring the rest Check the vocabulary, check the vocabulary that um, I presented to you in the first uh, class we have, because tomorrow we're going to try to work with everything together. Um, guys, before you leave, uh, Sylvia, can you stay with me for some minutes, please? And the rest of you guys, you are dismissed. Have a really good night's sleep. Está lloviendo, and I hope in your places too. So have a really good one, guys. Thank you. Yes, Thank Manuel, you. I already took yeah. attendance. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Have a good night. Bye. 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 See you. Sleep well. Thank See you, you, everybody. So I'll just go with Sylvia. Give me one second, Sylvia. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. OK. How you doing, Sylvia? How are you? Oh. ¿Qué tal, Miss? ¿Cómo está? How are you doing? You're oh, doing good. ¿Es de cuidarme, teacher, o no? Sí, Miss, sí, por favor. <laughs> <laughs> Le voy a robar acá unos minutitos. I'm just going to steal some minutes. ¿Qué tal, Miss? Okay. How are you? How are you doing? Um, I am fine and, and uh, ¿cómo se dice preocupada? Worried. <laughs> worried. <laughs> Why are you worried? Um, because I I I feel that my co co work co my your classmates, mis compañeros, uh, classmates, your classmates. Uh -huh. There are more more fluid with the uh, with the language. And oh, I, okay. in, in my case, I, uh, is very difficult. Mm, okay, okay. Well, um, well, gracias primero. Thank you for the, uh, the comments. All right. Yo la siento tímida. No sé si es, um, you know, el cambio a teacher <laughs> or the, the change in everything. I would say, yo solamente le he sentido tímida, but, pero, ok, ¿qué, ¿qué siente que le cuesta más? Cuando me menciona fluency, um, cuando se intenta dar una opinión, when you try to give an opinion, uh, ¿qué siente que le cuesta? Ordenar, ordenar sus ideas o el vocabulario, no le vienen las palabras, or what's the hardest? 
yo es que es complicado porque cuando usted me pide una opinión, me trago, pero después que usted ya pasa con alguien más, como que mi cabeza piensa rápido y ah, lo hubiera dicho así. Oh, y como bloquea, que es más fácil entonces. ordenarlo. Ajá, ajá. Entonces, entonces solamente de... tenemos un bloqueo. Ajá, después de ella es como que, ah, sí, era la oración completa. Ah, sí lo hubiera dicho y estaba bien. Pero cuando le estoy hablando siento que, que no encuentro qué palabra más usar. Y siento que es el mismo vocabulario básico que tengo, por decirlo así. Mm, okay, Aunque okay. realmente si, por ejemplo, yo me pongo a leer libros con mi hija en inglés y este, los entiendo. Y, pero, pero me cuesta ya cuando lo estoy hablando. Mm, probablemente entonces solo hemos desarrollado la habilidad de lectura, hemos desarrollado gramática y necesitamos soltarnos un poquito, right Most likely. Eh, creería que esa parte vamos a, a tener que o a ir trabajando un poquito. So, tengo un segundo. Wait, no sé qué pasó con estas niñas. Deme un segundo. Give me just a second. Oh, I don't know what happened to the rest. So, hi guys. Uh, hi, Norma, no sé qué pasó, no me le cerró la sesión, super weird. I'm sorry, girls, creo que hubo un error, un glitch. Sí, I'm sorry, no, no me había percatado que no le cerró a todos. Pero lo importante, girls, es que practicaron más. So that's uh, what matters. I'm sorry, thank you so much, girls. Ya estoy mi asistencia, I already took attendance. And I'll see you tomorrow, I'm sorry. No sé qué pasó, I don't know what happened. No, I'm sorry about that. Pero, pero nos puso que estábamos, y no, no se escuchó nuestro presente. No, 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 but, but I already took attendance, no worries. Pero okay. no sé qué glitch pasó que me cerró todas las sesiones excepto la suya. Oh, my God. All right. I'm sorry, girls. Quería que All right. practicando. Yeah, pero nos ayuda, así que no se preocupen. Y gracias por quedarse. Thank you. See you, girls. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye you. Oh, Bless my you. God. Bye. All righty. Okay. Uh, so, uh, talking about that. I'm sorry, Silvia. No sé qué pasó. I really don't know what happened. What glitch happened here. Okay. Bye. Vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Silvia, we're going to do the following. Um, y esto es algo que siempre, uh, ¿cómo aprende usted? ¿Aprende leyendo o aprende escuchando? ¿Cómo se le queda el vocabulario más fácil? You're mute. <laughs> you're mute. Está en silencio. You're mute. Um, leyendo, dicho. Leyendo, bye. Ok, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Um, voy a comenzar a enviarle historias. I'm going to start sending you stories. Recuérdeme, porfa, que yo soy súper olvidada. But vamos a hacer lo siguiente. I'm going to send you a story. De ese vocabulario, vamos a leerlo. Vamos a um, tener las palabras nuevas, right? We're going to try to get new vocabulary. So todas las palabras nuevas que encuentre, vamos a intentar ponerlas todas y cada uno de los días me va a mandar un resumen. You're going to send me a summary. Pero el resumen no va a ser escrito. Necesito que me hable. Necesito que primero, como usted me dice, um, me creería que es más como el nervio, right? Eh, especialmente es otro idioma. No tiene, nos da miedo equivocarnos. Nos da, nos trabamos todo por el miedo que, ay, me, se van a decir algo. No es así, etcétera. Entonces creería que solamente nos estamos bloqueando. And uh, yo siempre digo, el, el inglés de mi cabeza no es el mismo con el que yo hablo. Entonces necesitamos <risa> practicar, necesitamos expresarlo para que usted se escuche y vaya creando eh, you know, el vocabulario. Entonces, do me a big favor. Escríbame primero, eh, send me a message, please. El, en el grupo de WhatsApp, mi nombre aparece como Sarceño, creería. Ok. So, mándeme un mensaje, le voy a enviar una historia, I'm going to send you a story, y vamos a hacer esto todos los días. We're going to do this little by little, right? Um, so, ahorita le escribí. Okay. Okay. 
give me a moment. Ok, so leyendo vamos a agarrar obviamente más vocabulario y la invito a que el vocabulario nuevo me lo vaya cambiando. Por ejemplo, si usted siempre me dice happy, veíamos ahora que en vez de happy voy a utilizar cheerful. Ya no me utilice happy, utilice me sinónimos. Happy, energetic, enthusiastic. Si me dice bad, ya no me use bad, utilice me un sinónimo. Mean, terrible, awful. Um, si me dice intelligent, ya no me use intelligent, utilice y smart, clever. So, utilizando sinónimos nos va a dar variedad de vocabulario. Decimos lo mismo, pero al cambiarlo, saltamos de básico a intermedio. Entonces, eso es lo que queremos hacer ahorita, right? Intermedio sí. eh, se refiere a la cantidad de vocabulario que manejamos. So, eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Tenme un segundo, le voy a buscar una que no sea tan crazy. For stories. Give me just a second. Me mandó un mensaje. Did you send me a text? Sí, pero creo que todavía es, es que se me apagó el teléfono y ahorita oh, lo estoy. Vaya, no se preocupe. Por eso no le ha caído. Uh -huh. Sí, no, I don't, I don't I still get it. Vaya, envíemelo ya cuando le termine de cargar. No se preocupe. Le voy a compartir la historia. En un audio, mis un minuto, dos minutos máximo, eh, resúmame de qué se trató, pero no como resúmame en tres segundos, right? sino que intente dar más en de ser posible, agregue su opinión. So, I mm -hmm. like this story, I didn't like it, I think it was a boring story. Cualquier opinión que tenga, si le gustó, si fue aburrida, si fue esto, porque la idea es crear vocabulario, quitarse el miedo y desarrollar fluidez. Si le funciona escribirlo, Escríbala, pero en este punto creería que nos funciona más grabarse de un solo. Record it. Uh -huh. Y si no le gustó cómo quedó, si hay mucho espacio donde usted no habla o lo piensa, bórrelo, vuelva a hacerlo de tal manera que sea menos el espacio en el que nos quedamos pensando, ¿right? Como por ejemplo ahora les decía, si se queda pensando, utilicen otras palabras como, well, let me try to remember. Let me see. La idea es que no se me quede callada, sino que siga y siga y siga y siga, right? So, mm -hmm. intentemos con eso. Mándenme el mensaje cuando ya esté lista. En, comenzamos una historia, no le voy a tomar más de cinco minutos. Me envíe el audio, lo escucho, vemos corrección de pronunciación, corrección de grammar. En, y así vamos haciéndolo todos los días, right? Si a mí se me olvida mandarle la historia, me recuerdo. <ríe> Remind me, please. Ok. okay. Gracias, Silvia. Eh, Gracias, y Silvia. me va comentando, Miss, cómo va sintiendo, si siente que le funciona. Eh, si al terminar, por ejemplo, cinco días, siente usted que no le funciona, vemos de qué otra manera lo cambiamos. ¿Qué más podemos okay. hacer eh, para ir desarrollando más vocabulario? All right. Thank you, Miss. Okay. Nos vemos Gracias. mañana. Gracias. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night.